Good morning, sweetheart. Can you believe it? It's daytime. <laughs> this morning um, was an incredible struggle. Liam eventually got up. He got up okay. He was a bit sluggish, a bit slow to start, you know, just normal. But Riley, she just turned completely feral, oh. abusing me. And there was a bit of argy bargy going on, and all sorts of things happened. Uh, so we're back to square one. At least Liam is stepping things up today. Just because you don't want to get up doesn't mean say you tell somebody to f off repeatedly. Four, three. Seriously. One second. What? Five, four. Three, two, one. <laughs> the man. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I need smoke. I really need smoke. We'll do the same thing tomorrow? Oh, if you want, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, man. Take yeah. it easy. A contrite Riley finally emerges, but all is not forgiven. I'm sorry for swearing at you. Well, let me tell you something. That'll be the last time you ever open your mouth to me like that again. I will not put up with it. I am over her. She switches. She's like, she's, she's absolutely got one personality for a minute, then another. If you turn feral on me again tomorrow morning, it's going to get worse, babe. Yeah. Understand? You're messing with the wrong person. I gave her the alternative of going to school or staying here with me. Riley opts for school. A very wise decision. Today has been like amazing. We sat down in the classroom and talked about the future and like the control over like weed and like cigarettes and stuff. I am fortunate to come out of it alive. It seems a game of trust is not Riley's thing. Riley, when she saw the mouse traps, she was like, no, hell no, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do this. Straight in the middle, go. Careful, there's a mouse trap. No, don't do it. Ah. There's no way. Do it. But peer pressure finally wins out. Their fear of getting her toes jammed in mouse traps just went away after she she picked up her first lolly. All right, I'll do another one. Do another one. Doing the activities that they did yesterday and today, they showed a lot of potential. <laughs> Our teen's final school assignment is to help with the weekly neighbourhood get-together. See, by the time we finish here, Riley's going to have the same muscles as me. It seems in just a short time, these two have made a big impact. They both came back two different people. I picked that up this morning that there's a little bit of enthusiasm. And then enthusiasm continued on by the end of the day. I mean, you talk to them now, they, we can have a good conversation. Yeah, that, thanks for letting us come to your school and stuff. Yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. That's good. These two are special, you know, they, they, they have their own um, personalities but and they all also the uniqueness. <coughs> But behind the smiles and hugs, Riley is hiding a dark secret. Today when we went to the Sausage Sizzle, did all that, I decided that I wanted to go speak to the girls that were there, like see how school is, like how they like it in the area. I went and sat down and I was like, hey, how are you going? Do you mind if I talk to you like, about your life in New Zealand because I'm from Australia? Hi. Yeah, sorry, New South Wales. Where's uh, Riley going? She's like, oh, do you drink and smoke weed? I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, do you have any on you? She pulled out a bud and she snapped it in half and she's like, oh, here's two cones. Like, she'll give you two cones. Um, have fun with it. I was like thinking about saying no and then I was like, no, I'll take it. I'm a little bit nervous of getting caught. Could I get caught and I should call the cops. But like, I've got it. What can I do? Smoke it and hope she doesn't find out. Hope she doesn't know now. 
using the drug will betray the trust of her host mother, Yvonne. Hey, Yvonne. Um, I want to tell you, like, be honest with you. Because I really want to work things out. Like, today in the park, someone gave me some weed. And I took it. You used it or you just got it? No, I just, I thought about it and thought about it. And like, oh, honestly, I, I don't want it. Mm, how awesome is that? That's huge for you, isn't it? Yeah. We're here to change, like. Something's happened for you today, isn't it? Yeah, like seeing how their lives are and like. Yeah, I know, huge step back. Yeah. It made me feel a lot better than I thought it would, because it feels like a first step into not smoking as much. It was not actually about the drugs. It was about her wanting to move ahead in her life. And so she's made a very important decision for a long-term future rather than a short-term gain. So I'm excited, really, really excited. From here, I really just want to have a good week and finish off the week like, like a normal family would.